Hey, what up, guys? It's Julie Van Speaker, and who we got on the show today? We got the Ashton London in the building. The Ashton London. I am so excited to have you on today. You are one of the few rare, real R&B singers out here. Not saying that anybody else isn't a real R&B singer, but we're taking it back to the basics with your vocals. So we had to have you on. You have a lot of new things coming up. Plus, you just dropped a few singles. So we're going to get into that real quick. The latest single with the visuals that you put out is Naked. So let's talk about Naked. Man, Naked is it's going to be on my upcoming project, my upcoming EP, which I plan on releasing before my birthday in July. Ooh. So Happy birthday. Wait, exciting. July what? July 13th. Stop Can't it. Wait. No way. Girl. That's my birthday. That is so crazy. You, you, you playing with me. <laughs> I'm not See, 13. I knew it was something. I knew it was <laughs> something. That's why. <laughs> I'm a no. full-on cancer. <laughs> See, so you understand. You understand. I do. I'm with you. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And they they talk trash about us, but you know we the best. Exactly. So we fun. are. We are. I just posted something <laughs> yesterday. I was like, forget Gemini season. We coming. Like it's our turn. We coming. We away. <laughs> forget the Gemini's. <laughs> That's okay. But well, no. happy birthday to both Thanks. of us. Happy season. birthday to you. Too. Exactly. That's <laughs> so wild. The thirteenth. But go ahead. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> so, um, but I'm I'm excited about that. Um, I've been working on visuals, everything for the project. I'm like, I just wanted to be right. Um, I've been able to work with different engineers and producers mm. this time. So I'm just excited for people to start hearing, like you said, that, that R&B and people missing like the feeling and, and the love, mm. like just that you can hear it in your voice. You know what I'm saying? I, I want people Absolutely. to feel it. <laughs> no, and I, and I felt it when I heard your music for the first time. Um, I just couldn't believe it because I'm like, there's just really no way this brings me back to my childhood growing up in like the, the late 90s. And my mom, like she put us on like I'm more of an R&B person out of anything. I'm, I'm into the vocals. I grew up in church. So like vocals right. are a big, 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 big thing for me and harmonizing everything, every melody, yeah. everything riffing. So when I heard your voice, it really brought me back to like a, a good space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's like aside, I guess, from even just like the recording aspect or like the business side of it, it's kind of like, you know, it's just my passion. Like I grew up singing, like you said, in church mm-hmm. and. Just being around it. a lot of great singers, you know, and so exactly. it's kind of like embedded in me, you know, right. like the Memphis soul. But mm. I just want to tell people, you know, we can do it on a different level, too. You know, it's coming back. Absolutely. And you're young. You're, you're what, 25, 26? 24. 24. So you turn in 25, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was close. I was so close. And I'm like, you're yeah, so yeah, young. Yeah. And that's what blew my mind, because I'm like, like, it's not that you missed that that cusp, because you're right. Like you were you were at that age where that stuff was kind of almost dying down until we got up to the early 2000s. And then we had the pop and the rap and hip hop taking over right. for a really, really long time. So it's crazy that you still have that ability that they had back in the day. And it's yeah. so rare. And I see some artists trying to emulate it, but it's not quite like naturally there with Thank you. It's yeah. effortless. Thank it was you. in a cute acoustic session you did. Um, I don't I don't even remember the name of the song. I want to say it was a cover. And it was insane to watch. I was like, oh, my God. Thank like, you. he's saying that thing, saying it. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Thank you. Like, and it's like you said, with the hip hop, like at one point, I really thought, like, man, it's R&B, like, done. And, yeah. you know, I was, I was young, of course, but I feel like during those times, it was grooming me for where I am now, where man. people are finding my videos. And I say it every day, like, my fans are finding me and I'm finding them every day. Mm. But it's like people I never even thought would know who I was just from seeing little stuff like that. Like, right. you know, they, they felt it. So as long as that's going on, I'm happy. <laughs> Absolutely. So when you're creating music and you're in the studio and you're writing, I know you have had the opportunity to work with many different writers now. Um, what is your creative process like? Man, it's so crazy, but I, I love it because it's, it's different really depending on the vibe of whoever I'm working with at the time, or even just the flow of the room. It's like, mm-hmm. Um, if I have a beat, sometimes I even hear the beat in my head and I, I got a few mm. people I can just call and say, OK, can you try to you know, do this and we'll work it out like that? Mm. And I'll get in a booth, maybe lay some melodies. And um, once we kind of get those melody lines going, it's like, OK, that's hot. The words like just fall in place. They just come right in. So, Absolutely. yeah, I love it. Do you arrange your own? Because I know Ariana Grande is one of those few singers that does her own arrangement and. I feel like any singer that does like arrangements is impressive yeah. because it's not easy. So at one point I thought I could sing, but I can't. So, I, <laughs> so I'm sure I'm, you can. You can do a little something. <laughs> not even a little. <laughs> but arranging is such a important, I feel like pivotal part of songwriting, especially when you're a singer. So do you do that for yourself or do you have a little bit of help? Definitely. Um, and I love taking a little bit of help too, but mm. 
that kind of get mad at me sometimes too because I'm like I know for a fact I, right. I want to hear this I want to see that and it's it's just I guess like I said growing up listening to certain stuff you kind of know what you want to hear mm-hmm. like it would, I, I did a song called Levels and um, I remember toward the end I was just hearing like a lot of crazy harmonies and stuff mm-hmm. and everybody in the studio was like what are you doing like just you know yeah yeah and I'm like just wait because I I can I can hear it like I I feel like this is what you know the harmony should be stacked like this and when it got mm-hmm. done everybody was like wow you know okay so it's mm-hmm. just like I don't know man I, I love it. arranging putting the harmonies the met all of that stuff together so yeah I love it I think it's crazy when like when you guys like I, when I talk about when I say you guys as singer songwriters you guys get in the studio and you have the engineer or the producer whoever they do these different effects. So I'm a big I'm really big on sound. Like I love hearing the pan go back and forth, a little bit of reverb, putting a little bit of flanger. You know what I mean? It's like crazy yeah. different elements onto vocals. And like for me, I don't listen like how everybody else does. So I'm listening deeper to just hear and feel right. the art. And that's why I think I love your vocals and your music so much because mm-hmm. it's a different experience. Some artists give it to you, but not all of them. But yeah. it's very rare to find an artist that's giving you a full on experience that you could appreciate. Yeah. And it's like, I hate to say it, but it's sex for your ears, really. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad, though, that like people like you can can hear like just the, the details and the minute right. like things that that matter really the most to me. You exactly. know what I'm saying? So that's that's dope. Absolutely. So let's talk about your progress, because when you first started, you were obviously a teenager. You were still like I think you were right in that that time zone of coming out of high school and going into college, the progress that you've had, even for your visuals and your music and obviously your songwriting style to now has been amazing. I feel like it's really brought you to the artist that you are today and you've come into your own. So what was that little bit of progress like? Because you took a little bit of, I feel like a hiatus at one point. Definitely, yeah. And that was around the kind of the time where I was telling you, I felt like I don't know really what was going on with R&B and like, is there ever going to be a time or is the gap going to make sense for me, you know, right. when it happens. But around those times, man, I was still just trying to stay down, still, you know, grind. Mm-hmm. I was doing everything independent. So um, I don't know, but I could always I could always see the bigger picture. Like I knew what I wanted my my quality to reach and I still see those goals. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not there yet, but I've always just tried to keep that in the back of my head. Like after high school, I started, um, I was able to open up for like mindless behavior right. and like, little, you know, teen artists around the same age at the time. Mm-hmm. And then that moved on to being able to do stuff for like Keith Sweat and Ty Dolla mm-hmm. Sign or Ray Schremer. Like just for me in the city, I knew certain promoters and certain things. So like I said, it was hard independently, but I still feel like I had stuff helping me, like pulling me to like, okay, you know, people are, are starting to notice you and starting to see you. So, keep going because the time is coming, you know? Absolutely. And what was it like working with those people? I know you, I believe you opened up for Tank and Genuine as well at one yeah. point. So how was it like going on the road with these people? Obviously, now that we had the little brief break for 2020 for the obvious reasons, what was it like working with them on the road and then outside of being on the road? Did you right. pick up anything from them? Oh, man, I did a lot of stuff. Um, And we did like spot dates with uh, mm-hmm. Genuine and Tank, but I just remember I was so um, nervous just to kind of meet mm-hmm. Genuine for the first time because I was like, he's, okay, he's a real R&B dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He was around Aaliyah, like all these people he's seen. So all the stuff that I want to do, you know, he's mm-hmm. done. So at the time, um, I remember I was performing and he came out from the back and was just like, man, you're super dope. You're killing it. Like, you know, I can't wait to see you in the future. And um, he was just, he was giving me so many words of encouragement. So the next mm-hmm. time I saw him, it was nothing but love. Yeah, mm-hmm. same thing. Uh, absolutely absolutely have you ever have you been able to work with tank because tank as a writer and obviously as a singer tank's writing skill is is i feel like so underplayed that man is cold like yeah he really cold. is <laughs> and i i didn't even realize a lot of my favorite r&b songs are written by tank and from him yeah it's crazy so have you been able to work with him on a writing level or has he talked to you about writing or anything like that so not yet, hopefully. So Tank, if you see this, we need to get in the studio. <laughs> but no, absolutely. Um, I, it's crazy because um, I know he just he did some work for um, Latoya Lucky's last right. record, I believe, and um, she she helped me get into some studios in Atlanta. So I was hoping that I was gonna be able to to run into him, but we haven't ran into each other yet, you know, on that tip. But it's coming. We're gonna <laughs> it's manifest coming. it. We're gonna man. That yeah. would be a beast collaboration. 
Because oh even when he God. does like the background vocals for people too, if you pay attention, it's him. If you're not paying attention, you're not gonna know. But like right. if you pay attention, you know it's Tank. So I would love to see like a full yeah. on collaboration with y'all. It would be nasty. And I meant to say that earlier, like um when it came to arranging, but um like I also arranged for other artists too, you know, and maybe not any like notable artists yet, but just other artists do reach out to me to, you know, kind of help them arrange whatever they're feeling in here. And so it's a, they know it's a you're a beast thing. already. They know yeah, you're a beast right. already. You're the beast yeah. already. You're the goat that's coming up that nobody's going to probably see coming. But when you, you come out of there, they're going to be like, where the hell did he come from? <laughs> You've been grinding. <laughs> exactly. It's over. So let's talk about your upcoming project. Do you have a name for it yet? I do. I do. It's called Never Just Open. So um, the songs on there are going to be personal. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And not just for me, but even from just other conversations I've had with people around me and kind of what I feel like most people probably want to hear. So mm. I'm working on choosing the songs I want to put on there right now, but it's going to be dope. It's going to be super dope. Absolutely. And I can't wait for that. So what's the next single that you're going to drop? By the way, I also love, I, I swear, because that gives me wedding season vibes, by the way, it, it feels like you got to play it at a wedding, walking down an aisle. That's exactly what I envision when I watch. That was the- dope. Exactly. <laughs> that was dope. <laughs> Um, shout out to my homie TJ Upshaw. He he wrote on that, and um, we were just going for like a classic feel. We were like, even though it's you know twenty twenty one or twenty twenty, you know, we want to be able to, to show people we can still have like superstars and make classics, and you know, mm-hmm. have stuff that people like I said feel from the heart when they hear it. So, absolutely, I can't wait. So this is my favorite part of the show. Uh, it's called Five Fast Facts. You got to be quick with okay. it. So you got to drop five gems about yourself that your fans don't already know about you. So I feel like this interview, we got a lot of good facts out there already. Yeah. We need some more. <laughs> oh, some more. Okay, let me see. Huh, five quick, and it's supposed to be fast. Okay. Fast. Uh, it's got to be fast. Well, I like to draw. I don't know if okay. people know that. You know, that's kind of a thing that goes in my family. We draw a little bit. Um, Let's see. Um... In high school, I don't know if this counts. Uh, I got what most classiest, most talented, and best all around. <laughs> right? I was Damn. shocked. <laughs> no, but they shocked. knew. But they knew. <laughs> <laughs> they was. Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, I love seafood. Okay, um, I don't know if anybody knows that. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? Almost there. Almost there. Um, I, well, I didn't mention this, but I was part of the Sunday service choir. Oh, okay. Um. I can see that. And last but not least, I always have to talk about this. Let me see. Oh, uh, Beyonce. She passed me the torch. <laughs> she Wait, what you me, mean? She gave me her towel at the on the run tour. And it's like no. people moved. Yes, people moved out the way like they knew it was for me. So I was like, you know what? This, <laughs> this is my golden ticket. And I still got it. It's in my room, it's in my room somewhere. But um No yeah. way. Yeah, Don't tell yeah. anybody that because they might run up on you. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> To cut that part out, no. right. <laughs> oh no. man, I always said if I met Beyonce, I might pass out. I don't know. That the creativity <laughs> is insane with her, oh, but her I know is. exactly is whatever she gave you, it's gonna wash all over. Manifesting. You. <laughs> exactly. Manifesting. <laughs> well, Asha, thank you so much for joining us thank today. You. I appreciate you taking your time out to talk to us about your new upcoming project. It's dropping before. July 13th, our birthday, so it's good for both of us. <laughs> right, right, right. I'll Absolutely. see you first before anybody can listen to Absolutely. Woo, I can't wait. <laughs> right. Well, Ashley London, thank you so much again. I'm Julia Vamps. This is Ashley London. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening.